Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. So before I get into this one, I want to say a massive, massive thank you for the support on the last video, my returning update and a mini progression video back into the game and back into making videos. You guys honestly smashed the support on that. It's, as of right now, got nearly 500 likes and that is, that's amazing. So yeah, thank you so much for that. But kicking this video off today, guys, with a bit more luck. The last one we got lucky, obviously, but that was before I came back to the game. But we managed to get ourselves a crest from uh, Vindicta here. I've been doing a fair bit of Vindicta lately. Like I told you guys in the last video, I did want to go for Rawvec because I still haven't got that pet. And I also wanted to go for the Venerator title, which means I have to get 100% reputation in all of the bosses. So I'm doing Vindicta. It's my favourite one to kill, just to uh, sort of get them final kills down for the title. And yeah, we got ourselves a crest. And they're currently worth over 20 mil so that's really cool and what was even cooler was the fact i was recording this clip to do a voiceover on it just to let you guys know the drop we got and uh well check this out from this kill here we got ourselves the raw vec pet which is insane because i literally just told you guys i wanted it and I haven't even been back playing for much longer than a week now, and I already got the pet I wanted, so I'm pretty much done with this boss now. I'm probably going to move on to Twins or Greg, because they're my next favourite ones. I think it was at 1,358 kills, so not too bad, to be honest. I'm happy I've got both of them within that kill count, and it's always a nice surprise when you get them, so yeah, that is uh, some way to kick off the video. So I have of course been working on my Slayer and doing this task right here. It's about to grant us level 104, so there we go. That is cool, I don't really have much else to say, but obviously working towards 120. Not too sure how long it's going to take. If any of you guys have got it recently from around this level, just, you know, let me know how long it's taken you, I guess. But yeah, it honestly depends on how many tasks I do. I don't want to overdo it and not do anything else, but I guess we'll just have to see how it goes. So I've been working on this pickaxe for a while now, just doing a bit of mining here and there, whenever the tray hunt hours are. And yeah, there we go. Level 137 from that one. I'm hopefully going to get 138 because there's a bunch of discovering I haven't done. So I'm going to go do that now and hopefully we can get enough XP to get that level as well. Yeah, sweet. So I've just been doing all of this and we've got ourselves level 138 from that one. So that is very nice. And we've also got ourselves 140 mil XP in that skill as well, so only 60 mil left to go until we get our target. So I've just done a small task of Edemuse, it's actually my first one ever, and the loot that I got was insane. I did manage to get lucky and get the Blood Shard, which was 8.8 .8 mil alone, but we made over 11 mil just on this one task, it was under an hour as well, so yeah, that was really awesome, super chuffed with that. So, I mentioned I was going to move on to either Greg or Twins after I got my Rawvec pet, and uh, yeah, I've been off camera asking for this pet for quite a long time. I've done, I started off today with 750 kills, and on my 819th kill, I actually got the Ava pet, so that is just a really nice surprise. Like I said, I've been asking for it, but I didn't think I was going to get it. I was just joking around, and yeah, to actually get that pet is is really awesome it's literally a couple of days after i got the other one and the rng is is definitely really good right now the luck is great considering i just come back and everything so what a welcome back into the game now i just have to go for the other pet from here and i can move on to another boss so we just came back from an hour of Zami, and for God Wars 1, this was a very good hour, 4.8 mil. We managed to get the Gown of Subjugation and a God Shard as well, but it's the same God Shard I've already got twice within this loot tab that I started fresh the other week, so yeah, they're just sort of stacking up in there. Sweet, so we managed to get ourselves the Blade of Nine Mora drop from this Hour of Twins, and earlier on I also got the other blade as well, so I'm keeping them in the loot tab, because even though it's for Slayer, I obviously won't price check them when it comes around to doing that, but the main drops, even if they're not worth that much from every boss, if I get them, I want to sort of keep them in there, because I think that's pretty cool, so yeah, that's what I'm planning to do, but there's another drop. From this kill right here, we're going to grab ourselves a level in defense. There we go, level 107. And in case you guys didn't know, this is the next 120 that I'm working towards. So I've been doing a lot of PVM recently, as you could probably tell by this video. And yeah, I've been really enjoying it. So hopefully it won't take too long. Obviously, it depends how much I do of it. And we also have 60 mil constitution coming up very soon as well. So yeah, that is awesome. And there we go for 60 mil constitution XP. In terms of God Wars 1, I've been doing quite a lot of it recently, and every single time we've gone to a boss, 
we've actually got one or even two of the drops per time, so that's pretty cool. We've got a long way to go until 120, obviously we did just get 104 earlier on, but this is the loot tab right now from the last video when I completely emptied out this tab, so it's coming along very nicely, I'm really happy with it. The only things in here that aren't from Slayer itself and that from Bossing is these blades here and uh, also this signet as well, but everything else is from Slayer, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks cool and it's adding up to a nice amount already. I haven't price checked it, but just by looking at it, you know, it's coming along and I like it. So what I want to do is uh, get you guys to guess how much is worth when I hit 120. So look at it right now, obviously this is me, level 104. When I hit 120, how much do you reckon this is going to be worth? The reason I'm asking you now, even though it might take a long time to get 120, is because I haven't price checked it at all, so you guys can't see how much is worth unless you actually went out and did all of the uh, adding up yourself, which I doubt you're going to do. And when I hit 120, I'll come back to this video and then whoever's closest will win something. I'm not too sure right now, but you'll win something, so yeah, let me know. Well, this is a nice way to end off the KC for my Reaper task today. I managed to get some Ghostly Essence and a Serenic Scale back to back just from getting this KC. So that's actually worth quite a lot and I'm happy of that. The Ghostly Essence is 295 and 350, so 645k just from two drops in this. I'm happy of that. So there are two questions I got asked when I told you guys on Twitter and on YouTube that I was coming back to making videos and back to the game and most of you guys probably guess what they are. One is to do with the Skiller account and the other one is to do with the Friends chat. And I was going to answer it in the first video that I posted last week, but yeah, I, I just didn't. I didn't want to keep it in that video. I thought I'd make it into a separate one and basically just address it in a bit more detail because some of you guys don't really know what's going on. Obviously, Friends chats have a limit to how many people can go in at the same time and a lot of you guys didn't actually get to go in, which obviously sucks. Um, my friends chat right now, if you guys have actually tried to join it, is closed because a lot of people in there were being like racist and just rude to each other, which I personally didn't want to be associated with my friends chat, with my channel, because that's not what it's obviously there for. It's there to make friends, help each other, chill, that type of thing. And it wasn't very nice for me whenever I logged on or even when I wasn't online, just people messaging me saying how they've had a bad experience in there, how people are saying this and that, and I was constantly just getting uh, messages from people, you know, just complaining about it. I didn't want that at all, so I closed the French chat, but obviously it has been a long time since I have played. So to everyone wondering if the French chat is going to be reopened, the answer is yes. When I upload this video, and as you watch it right now, the French chat will be open. So yeah, hopefully if you want to come and join, then you can. And fingers crossed, it just doesn't go as toxic as before. I understand there's obviously going to be some people messing about, but I don't mind that. If people are joking, I really don't mind. But it's when it gets to the point that it's actually affecting people and they're not happy with it because that goes under my name. And I don't, like I said, I don't really want that to be associated with my channel, with my friends chat, because I want everything to sort of be positive and helpful, you know. So that's what it's there for. It is open now if you do want to go and join it feel free, but I just thought for those of you guys who weren't aware, like I said, there is a limit, so a lot of people didn't actually know that is why it was closed before. Just got a bit out of hand, I guess, but to answer your question, in a short answer, it is yes, it is open now, so feel free to go and join if you can. If you can't, just try again another time, and hopefully we'll get to chill and talk some time, that'd be pretty cool. And in terms of my Skiller account, the answer again is yes, I am making videos on that account, but I just don't know when. I haven't started playing it yet. I'm focusing on the main account right now. I've got a bunch of stuff that I want to do. I'm doing a lot of bossing at the moment, as you can probably tell by this video. And it's going really, really well, making a bunch of money. And I'm really enjoying myself. So I'm focusing on this account right now. Whenever I do start playing the account again, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, that is pretty much what I wanted to update you on. And hopefully that answers your questions about those two. Nice, so there we go, we have 30 million defense XP. I wasn't planning on getting that in this video, but... I'm not going to complain about it, it's come around a lot quicker than I thought, so yeah, that is pretty awesome. But on that note guys, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video right here. Thank you all very, very much for watching, hopefully you have enjoyed. I know it's taken a week to get this one out, the next one will be a lot quicker. I've just been not very well recently and yeah, either way, the next one will be coming out a lot quicker than this one did. And hopefully you do look forward to it. I'm really enjoying the game at the moment, doing a lot of bossing, really, really into that. So hopefully you guys, you know, do like watching it. If there's anything else specifically you want to see, just let me know. But honestly, there's a bunch of stuff I'm going for that does 
does include bossing at the moment, so, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. You guys always wanted to see more PVM, so it should be all good. But thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you have enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.